Hey, I'm Luke McNeil. This is my 2018 12.9-inch iPad Pro. This thing is nasty. Today, I'm going to show you some of the apps and tools that I use to make this thing awesome. first app on my iPad is Procreate. This is an amazing app for drawing and painting and editing photos and whatever it is that you might be into. Check out some of these things that I've drawn in Procreate. So uh, I've been working on mandalas lately. Um, I've never been into drawing, but this has really inspired me using the iPad Pro and this Apple Pencil. Let's see if I can show you that. Do, 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 do. So here's our Apple Pencil. All right. The Apple Pencil allows me to do drawing um, more naturally than I could with my finger, obviously. So uh, you could draw in here, you can paint, you can do small animations, um, all sorts of fun things await you in Procreate. Look how easy it is, I just want to show you. Uh, so we're going to come in here to Procreate. This is an animation that I made. Um, you can just see each one of these frames is spinning the mandala a little bit, and if we hit play, here's what we have. We have an animated spinning mandala. It's pretty cool, right? That was made in Procreate. Um, boom, Procreate. Number two is Adobe Lightroom. Now, I use Adobe Lightroom a lot as a photographer and as a creative. I'm constantly taking photos and I need something to, to keep track of them. So I use Adobe Lightroom to catalog my photos and to do most of the editing. So here's Adobe Lightroom on my iPad. You can see it's downloading the little thumbnails of this trip and I have almost all the same tools that I would have in the desktop available to me to edit this photo here right on my iPad. The screen is amazing for retouching photographs. It's so crisp and clear. The retina display on these things is just, it's silly. It's almost better than editing on the computer. It's, uh, it's fast. It's, it's so nice. So I have all these tools here and all the different shoots that I've done. And I'm able to organize them in Adobe Lightroom and then I'm able to edit my photo and ultimately share this out to all the other apps on my iPad or to Instagram or Facebook or you know whatever. This is very very handy. Highly recommend installing Adobe Lightroom. Next up on this list of awesome iPad apps for the iPad Pro is Affinity Photo. Now Affinity Photo is an application by a company called Serif from the UK and this is uh, similar in functionality to something like Photoshop. Affinity Photo, uh, let's see, and we have a similar gallery here of things that I've been working on. Let's grab this composite where the weed falls out of my head. This I made in Affinity Photo. This is pretty cool, right? I mean, um, you're able to pinch this work and zoom and there's layers here just like as if we were working in something like Photoshop or an advanced photo manipulation tool. Colors, different brushes to play with for drawing and things like that. You can transform things. There's a whole bunch of uh, selection tools. So this is very, very powerful and a lot of fun. And um, you can do almost anything you could do in, uh, in Photoshop here. So I did this fun dispersion effect in Affinity Photo. And if you're interested in learning about some of these effects and how to do them on the iPad Pro, then you can check some of these other videos here on my YouTube channel. Whoa, check out this eye. I, uh, I picked up this idea somewhere on the internet. This next app is awesome. This next app is called LumaFusion and LumaFusion is for uh, creating videos and editing videos. So it's similar to uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere or something of that nature, iMovie. Uh, let's open up LumaFusion here and you can see what I mean. So we've got all the photos and the videos that are on my iPad or I could I could plug in an external drive if I was on set or something like that. We were recording video and we needed to do a quick rough cut or something like that. We could just import it right here onto the iPad and then import those video clips into our timeline. Let's grab a video. Let's grab this video and then we can drag this video onto our timeline. Let's just grab this guy, pull him over here, and now we got this video. And we're playing a video. Boom. And then flash, it turned into a dragon. 
The stoner thing is now a dragon, and that's LumaFusion, folks. So this has been an overview of some of the more powerful applications, creative applications on my iPad Pro. I hope you've learned a thing or two here about what is possible and what you can do on your iPad, or maybe this has inspired you to uh, to turn in the old laptop and, and maybe uh, move into the future here a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm not saying it's ready, but it's kind of ready. It's just about there. I'm not ditching my computer yet, but it's just about there. It's pretty fun to play with, and I highly recommend the iPad Pro. It's a beautiful device, and it runs smoothly. It's fast. The apps are killer, and it makes me feel creative. And anything that, that makes you feel creative or sparks joy, it's worth the money, man. I'm telling you, it's worth the money.